Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. So, I could talk to you guys a little bit about my, uh, let me adjust a little bit. I could talk to you guys a little bit about my time in Nashville, Tennessee. I got back uh, Monday. It's now Wednesday. And overall, the city was pretty good, man. If you haven't, if you haven't visited Nashville, I encourage you to visit Nashville. I encourage you to visit Nashville. The barbecue is amazing. Um, the Titans actually have a pretty nice stadium. I actually like the, uh, what is it, the Nissan? I actually like the Nissan Stadium. You know what I mean? I looked in the window, wasn't no Lombardi issue going on, though, but eh, we ain't got to worry about that. Uh, the, the, sun, the sun shines on the, the sun shines on the dog's ass when it's posted, whatever, it's, whatever the whatever saying is. But, yeah, so I'm looking at, you know, reports saying that Carson Wentz has been held out of team drills for the third straight practice I don't think that man is a hundred percent I don't think he's a hundred percent if he was a hundred percent I could understand you know as a precautionary measure you you take him out every other practice but three straight practices I think he's having some complications with the knee I think he still has some more rehab to go it is fast I mean that nine month timetable just passed not too long ago so yeah um Looks like Nick will. Looks like Nick. Nick got a, it's, it's about fifty fifty, man. About sixty forty swinging Nick way. Nick will be starting September six. I thought Carson was definitely going to start. I thought the speedy recovery was definitely happening, but it's something we definitely can't chance. Ah, <sighs> either way, I'm fine with whatever happens. I don't care. Moving forward, I'm fine with both quarterbacks. You know what I mean? Moving forward, I'm fine with both quarterbacks. But Carson Wentz gives you those intangibles when the play breaks down and 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 it's all on you to make something happen. Carson Wentz could do that. You know, Nick Foles just lacks in that area. Um, they both could throw basically every ball on the field, but it's not looking it's not looking too good for number eleven coming out September sixth and, you know, leading the way. Um, like I've said from the beginning, Sidney Jones, Sidney Jones, Sidney Jones. I heard he shut down Nelson Aguilar the other day. That was great. Um, that just that just shows uh, Nelson Aguilar is one of the uh, one of the quicker guys on our roster. So if you can shut down Nelson Aguilar, um, I think that you're ready to be in a slot and to deal with whoever comes at you uh, league wide from a league wide perspective. Most slot guys aren't big. Most slot guys are quick, and they depend on those guys for short yard downage, especially when the run game is ineffective. Like um, when the Patriots don't want to run the ball at all, sometimes they get in that mode where they don't run the ball. They feed Edelman in the short yardage game, and they feed the running backs. So that, uh, that guy who plays that slot corner position is very valuable across the league. Very valuable across the league. It's just as valuable as the guy who guards the number one receiver for the opposing team, in my opinion. Um... Like I said, the same thing, man. The same thing with the um, with the cornerback core, top five cornerback core coming right at you, top five cornerback core coming right at you. So we're looking good right there. I'm just worried about Carson um, not starting. I'm worried about the future of Carson Wentz. I don't think this affects his future at all. But I would like to see him start because if, say say we get off to a five and zero, and it's all been Nick Foles. I can't pull Nick Foles out of that game. Nick Foles got to stay in at five and zero. You know what I mean? Nick Foles has to stay in that 5-0. and At 4-0, if Nick Foles go 4-0, Nick Foles got to finish the rest of the season. In my opinion, he got to finish the rest of the season. Nick Foles could play the first two games, then we can integrate Carson. But if Nick Foles was to go 4-0, he got to play the rest of the season, man. Let's be realistic here. The guy just won the Super Bowl. The guy just won a Super Bowl. And as and, and, and as an as an Eagles fan, yes, I'm a huge Carson Wentz fan, but I'm also in the business of winning. If goddamn Bobby Boucher was a better quarterback than Carson Wentz and Nick Foles and he was winning us Super Bowls, I would want Bobby Boucher playing. It's all about winning. It's all about getting more of these hats and more of these rings. So um, whoever's healthiest at the time, if they're both 100%, then obviously it's Carson Wentz's job. But if Carson Wentz is 99% and Nick Foles is 100%, I'm going with Nick Foles. You know, you got to go with the healthier guy when it comes down to the situation with our quarterback room. And our, in our defensive back room, um, I'm hearing the competition is increasingly ramping up there, as it should, because the youngest, the youngest guy, one of the youngest guys who didn't even play last season, is looking like a huge bright spot. So I mean, that will wake, that will burn a fire under everybody else. The Green Goblin, uh, Darby, um, that will burn a fire under all of the cornerbacks across the board to step their game up and try to elevate their game play and try to outplay Sydney. 
I like to see that. Also, Alshon Jeffrey isn't playing, but they're getting quality practice out of Mac Hollins. They said Mac Hollins is looking really good, taking over um, the plays that Alshon would be running in practice. Um, Mac Hollins is a big body. Mac Hollins has more speed than Alshon. Um, but overall, Mac Collins has um, big shoes to fill. He'll be starting week one in place of Alshon Jeffries. Um, the disrespect that is being thrown at Jay Ajayi is very, very crazy to me. Somehow, some way, he's not on a lot of people's top 10 in running backs. He's the forgotten man. Let's not forget in Miami, he was having 200-yard games like, like it was nobody's business on the ground. Um, he carried Miami in, 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 a, in a lot of ways. So... Um, Guys, I'm looking forward to have an impactful season for us to reach the Super Bowl again. And we are thinking repeat again. Guys, I'm looking forward to get this done. First of all, the re first of all, we have to have we have to be healthy and we have to have the same guys on the field. It'll be very hard for us to repeat if Brandon Graham has to come in week six, if Alshon Jeffries has to come in week five. You know what I mean? If Carson Wentz has to come in week five, then everything has to gel over all over again. And it's hard to repeat that way. It's very hard to repeat that way. But I feel like we're built to do it because all those pieces that we're talking about are changing are not on the defensive side of the ball. So I feel like defense will be very huge this season for the Eagles. Defense will be huge. Defense doesn't have a lot of things that has to change besides Brandon Graham coming out and, and, and um, Brandon Graham coming back in. I think Jernigan has surgery too. That's not huge changes because you have Haloti Nada and you have Michael Bennett. You have guys that you can plug into those spots. Um, the offense, I mean, the linebacking core is going to shift around a little bit, but the defense has the same coordinator. The defense has the same principle. Get turnovers, force them into third and long. As long as we, as long as we live by what we've been doing, we should be all right. As long as defense holds up to be um, not middle of the pack, to be somewhere around, you know, top five, top eight, then I think we're going to be able to be back in the NFC Championship game. Um, like I said, out of the first four games on our schedule, I do believe the Tennessee Titans will put up the best fight. Um, I, th I don't think anybody's going to lay down and die any of our games this year. We're the defending champs. Everybody's going to give us the best they got, especially if we're winning. Especially if we're winning. Nobody wants to see us repeat. Nobody wants to see us repeat. So, yeah, that's just um, some things that are coming out of training camp. Um, today, Carson is missing his third, his third team drill, and that's... Really not good news for me. I don't feel good about that. Um, we just have to see what the future holds and basically take it one day at a time when it comes to Carson. So like I said, this is Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. That's just what it is. That's just what it's always going to be. You know what I mean? I got some treats coming out for you guys, you know. You know, you guys have always supported me, so I'm going to do some raffles and all that stuff. I'm going to get some... I got some merchandise being made in the works right now. I'm working with... Working with uh, you know, the legal aspect of it. And once that happens, um, the guys that comment the most on my uh, on my posts and my videos will be guys that will mail free merchandise to. All I ask for you is just to wear the merchandise, take a picture, send it to me. I can put it on the next post. The merchandise will go for sale around the same time. But of course, me being Lil Brunson, I got to give it out to the subscribers first. So, you know, I can get feedback on it. And I'm only into putting out quality stuff. Only into putting out quality stuff. So, I do plan on being at the game September 6th. I just need to know, does anybody have a plug for some Eagles tickets? I need two tickets to that game. And you know what I mean? And, and the prices, I, I waited too late, you know. I waited too late. I'll, I'll own up to that. But I'm going to be there regardless. But the prices that I'm looking at are, like, ridiculous. For like standing rooms and stuff like that you know that's the nature of the beast win a championship they start taxing but hey if you got somebody that's selling two tickets to the september 6th game philly against the falcons let me know i will gladly scoop those up if not i will have to go through StubHub and get my pockets shaken down this is lord brunson back at you with the back at you and i am the best reporting on the eagles